What is going on boys and girls? It is Nerva Racer and I'm back with the comeback video. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while and I haven't posted what I said I was going to post, but I'm here now and that's what counts. Now before I get into what I want to talk about, just watch this Twitch reactions. I have no idea what was going on there, but I was just yeah, I was on, like in my zone. But yeah. Basically what happened when I got Black Ops 3 is I, I know like the shit out of it. I literally hit Master Prestige two weeks within the game coming out and I'm gonna share some screenshots with you right now. As you can see though, this picture was taken I think November 17th is what my camera said, but I am 90th in the world at 7th Prestige. For a career score well if you take the hackers out i was around you know i think 21 22 when i counted out but somewhere really low because hackers got in quick now this picture here is a little bit goofy i'm actually lower in the world than i was in that previous picture because there are way more hackers this was taken i think a day after that because that was the start of the double xp weekend and I do not have an actual picture of my rank when I actually hit Master Prestige, I, but I do have a pic of me a week after I hit it. So I'm gonna throw that up now. So yeah, I just now realizing that I took that pic portrait and not landscape, so it kind of looks shitty. But yeah, I literally, when I was not sleeping or at school or eating, or even while I was eating, I was playing this game, but I was doing this like I wanted to just hit it as fast as possible and see how high I could get and I think my highest on you know like without hackers and nothing else was around 18 17 in the world and you know that was really cool to be able to say hey on black ops 3 I'm 17th in the world and you know I just get a lot of shit when I'd go into class and say something like no you're not stop fucking lying and then I'd show them you know screenshots and they'd be like oh shit but you know it was just a cool thing to do but, you know, you go and tell somebody, oh, I hit the max level in Black Ops 3 within two weeks. That looks really, really good. But what it disappoints me is that I could have hit that within a week and a half. And I don't know. Because when I hit 4th Prestige, like, literally the second I hit 4th Prestige, my the sprint button on my scuff decided to just take a shit and not work. I was like, what the fuck? This is the, this is the second time it's breaking on me now? So I called them up and I was like, listen, my scuff broke, you know, I'm trying to race to Master Prestige, like, what what can we do here? And he was like, oh, if you just send it in, we'll, we'll fix it for you, and it'll be about two weeks. And I was like, two weeks? Like, I'm trying to get done with this by the end of this week, like, or next week, like, come on. So, what happened was, is I played with a normal controller, I had a 3.3 KD, and it went down to, like, 2.7. I was just like, I, I can't do this. So what I did was I reassigned the right paddle, which was circle for melee, and I reassigned that to sprint. So I was sprinting with the right paddle and jumping with the left, and it, it was just a shit show, honestly. Dealing with that and having no sleep was honestly fucking terrible. Like, I would go to school, get home at 9 o'clock on a normal day or 11 o'clock, sleep until 5, play until 5 a.m., so 5 p.m. to 5 a.m., or maybe even longer, depending on how long I slept. And then I'd go to school and do the whole shit again. And it just got to be ridiculous. Like, I was just getting pissed off with myself, like, that I wasn't leveling fast and I didn't have my scuff. Like, it was, it was really stressful, honestly. But what really helped me out in the end was I had people to play with all hours of the day. During the day when I woke up, I had my boy Jack Mod, shout out to you. I had Sidorsky, shout out to you. I had Nemi, shout out to you. And, you know, it, I had Surge, shout out to him. Narkin, shout out to him. Just people. That is that is what le helped me level fast is I was never alone, you know, because when I was alone, it was just like, fuck, you know, I don't, I don't even want to play this anymore. But I had people, and that's, that's what really made the difference for me. And for those of you that got to firsthand watch my journey, I appreciate you being there. You know, I like, I didn't do anything for like two weeks. I literally came home, slept, ate, played Call of Duty. And, but you know, that was cool. The second I finished, 
It was around Thanksgiving time. I played Fallout. Then I actually took a bus and went down to my friend Lenny's house that I talked about earlier, Arion, when he came to mine. Yeah, I went down to him and spent Thanksgiving with his family and went Black Friday shopping, and that was really cool, too. Now, you know, with my videos, I don't just want to tell a story, but I want to have, like, a moral. So the moral of this story is don't be afraid to chase your goals because the only person that stops you is you. I had at least 50 people telling me, you know, go to fuck to sleep, you know, stop being a no life, you know, go outside, like, just, just stupid shit. And some of them were, like, people that I thought were my friends, and it really showed me, like, who my true friends were, because people like Brett and the people I've played with online, they were all like, you know, just go for it, man, you know, you're doing good, just, just keep going, and that's what helped me out, too, support. But, you know, what sucks is that I had nuclear gameplays, I had 100 plus gameplays, I had plus 25 KD games, like I had so much good shit and I just didn't save any of them because I was racing. But this gameplay right here is a 10,000 score plus gameplay on Dom, so that's pretty good. But you know, just I'm thankful for the people that helped me out and you're probably wondering, if you finished how long ago, why are you just making a video about it now? Well, I played a lot of Bloodborne, I platinum that, and I've been just playing a lot of Fallout and just actually just hanging out with friends, you know, and enjoying my Christmas break, you know? But thank you so much for watching my videos, you know, I appreciate every single one of you that, you know, watches them. Leave a comment, let me know who you are, ask me any questions you want. If you want to hear stories about when I went over to my friend Arion's house, you know, feel free to ask and I will deliver because Nervo Racer 2016 is back. And I'm hoping to come out with content at least once a week because I enjoy doing this. And, you know, like I said, if you enjoy doing it, do it. So, this has been Nerve Eraser, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you.